In this video, I'm going to show you how to reset the purge counter on a variety of Brother printers that have a touchscreen on the front. A full list of compatible printers can be found below. This guide can be used to clear error 46, or the unable to clean error, and it's worth noting that this does not actually empty the waste ink tank on your printer, but simply resets the counter, allowing you to carry on printing. Before we start, I'd like to make you aware of some variants in how your printer will describe certain buttons that will be used in this process. For example, the start button may be down as menu or set, or just be displayed as a green button, and stop may be referred to as exit, or just be a red button. Step one, ensure that your printer is on and ready to print, and if any cards are inserted into the media card center, please remove them. Step two, now remove the power cable from the printer and hold down start. Step three, reinsert the power cable with start held down. Keep start held down until please wait appears and then release. Your screen should now read maintenance. Step four, type in eight and then zero using the keypad on screen or the printer's own numerical pad, if available. Step five, using the on-screen controls, find the screen that has the up and down buttons. Step six, use the up and down buttons to change the menu at the top of the screen until it reads purge followed by a series of numbers. Step seven, enter two, seven, eight, and then three, using the buttons on screen or the numerical pad. The numbers next to purge should now be set to all zeros. Step eight, press stop to return your printer to its normal operation. Your purge counter is now reset and you should notice the error message is gone, allowing you to print once more. If the error message remains, it would appear something has gone wrong with the reset procedure, in which case I would recommend going through these steps again, taking great care to follow them exactly. If the problem persists, please let us know, along with your printer model number, in the comments below. I hope you found this video useful, and I'll see you next time.